Hello friends, it's time for another PDO Circle Time. Come on in. Good morning friends, it's time for another Circle Time. Are you ready? Okay, get your thumbs up, wait for affirmation, point to yourself. I am loved, I am brave, I am a leader, I am a creator, I am an explorer, I am a friend, I can change the world, I am the future. Good job. Who remembers what our Bible verse is for this month? Good, that's right. Love is patient. Love is kind. And we'll have a little bit more about love in just a few minutes, okay? Who remembers the month? It is February. F E B R U A R Y. February. Now we need to go over our days. Ready to sing our song? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Then we start again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Then we start again. All right. Yesterday was Tuesday, the sixteenth. Let's fix that one. And today is Wednesday, the 17th. So let's count down to 17. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Good job. And do you know what tomorrow's going to be? If today is Wednesday, tomorrow's going to be? Thursday, the 18th. Good. All right. Our letter for this week is letter R. R. Uppercase R, lowercase R. And R makes the R sound. And words we keep letter R are robot, rabbit, what else? Um, Rock, run, and do you think of another one? Rainbow, that's another good one. The R, and we do the R in sign language. Hold up two fingers. Now your thumb's gonna come right here, but you're gonna cross over your pointer over your middle finger just like this. I'm trying to get over there. There we go. <laughs> R. And to make the letter R, we go down and then come to the top, almost like when you make the letter P, stop. But the difference is you're going to kick your leg out. Let's do it again. Go down, around like the letter P, and kick the leg out. And then it's like a little R, smaller, a little line here. And then almost like an arch or a rainbow right there top, but not too big. All right, good job. Now, remember we were talking about love and our Bible, Bible verses, love is patient, love is kind? Well, I'm going to read a story about being feeling loved. Are you ready to listen to the story with me? Okay, here we go. When I'm feeling love, written and illustrated by Trace Maroney. When I'm feeling loved, I feel like I could grow wings and fly high in the sky amongst the stars. When I'm feeling loved, I feel warm and safe and protected, like being wrapped up in clouds of cotton wool. Feeling loved makes me feel special. Some things that make me feel loved are when a friend puts their arms around me and says thank you for being a good friend, or when my dog Poppy licks my face, or when mom and dad tucks me into bed at night and says I love you, my little snuggle bunny. Feeling loved makes me feel strong, so when something difficult happens, I feel more confident to try and work it out myself. When I'm feeling loved, I feel more happy and more confident with the person that I am. 
Being loved teaches me how to love others and myself. Love is so easy to share. I love being loved. Do you? The end. Did you like that story? Do you remember our sign for love? Love. Like this. And then you can also do I love you like this. I love you. Or in a cold. If you want to tell somebody in a cold, I love you. One, four, three. Right? Because when you say I love you, letter I is one word, one letter. Then the next word is love. And love has four letters in it. And then you has three letters. So I love you. <laughs> or you can also do it like this. I love you. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do something with our vocabulary. And let us see. Now I have two letters up here. Letter H which makes the H sound, and letter V that makes the M sound. We're going to figure out which of these pictures and the words goes under the H, but it begins with letter H, or begins with letter V. You ready to join with me? Okay, mix them up. Okay. Alright, we have HEN. HEN. Does HEN go with letter H or letter V? Letter H. Oops. All right. What about van? Does van go with letter H or letter V? All right. V. Okay. Let's see. What about horse? Does horse begin with letter H or letter V? Horse. H. Good job. Alright. Uh, let me get another one. Vanilla. Vanilla. This is the kind of vanilla you add to your um, certain desserts and it tastes sweet. Vanilla. H or V? Vanilla. That's good. Letter V. Helmet. Helmet. H or V? Letter H. Okay. What about hand? Hand. H or V? That's right, letter H. Right, we have a animal doctor, which is a veterinarian. H or V, veterinarian. Good job. Veterinarian goes under V. All right, now we have, oops, vase. Does vase start with V or H? Does it make that? Sound or the V sound. All right, letter V. Ooh, volcano. Does volcano begin with letter H or letter V? Volcano. Letter V. All right, we'll do a couple more. Let's see. What about hammer? Hammer. H or V? A. Mm, yes, right. H. All right. What about vegetables? Vegetables. That's right. Letter V. Mm. One of my favorite foods, ham. Ham. H or V? That's right, letter V. All right, good job, guys. Let's go over the words real quick, okay? We have, for letter H, we have 
pin, horse, helmet, hand, hammer, and ham. Now the words that begin with letter V, the V sound. Van, vanilla, veterinarian, vase, volcano, and vegetables. All right, guys, good job. Well, that's all for today, and I hope you guys have a great weekend, great weekend. I want you guys to stay nice and warm and cozy with your families. And if you have snow, if it's safe to go outside, if you have fun in the snow, wherever you may be, I know if you're in Louisville, we're supposed to have snow. So, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you next week. Bye.